99% of seniors are sleeping inside a radiation storm every single night, and they don't even know it. What feels like a peaceful, quiet bedroom might actually be a slow-motion disaster, flooding your body with invisible energy that weakens your heart, drains your brain, and silently speeds up aging while you sleep. You can't see it, you can't smell it, but it's everywhere, pulsing from your clock, your lamp, your mattress, even the wall beside your head. Researchers from Tokyo Medical University recently issued a terrifying warning. Seniors who sleep near common household electronics are being exposed to levels of electromagnetic radiation up to 100 times higher than what their cells can safely handle. Over time, that constant exposure damages mitochondria, the engines that power your muscles and organs, making your body weaker every single night. Even worse, new studies from Stanford and the European Bioelectromagnetics Institute found that long-term exposure to this bedroom radiation can increase nighttime cortisol by 140% suppress melatonin, and raise heart attack risk by 70% in adults over 65. And the scariest part? The most toxic source is sitting less than two feet from your head right now. You use it every day, you trust it completely. But scientists found it emits radiation so strong, it can disrupt heart rhythms even through solid walls. That's why in this video, we'll reveal the five bedroom items that silently bombard your body with toxic radiation, and how to protect yourself before it's too late. Reference links for all the studies mentioned are listed below for full verification. Before we start, here's a quick question. What's sitting closest to your bed right now? Your phone, your clock, or your lamp? Comment below, we're reading every single answer, and what you share might literally save someone's life tonight. Now, let's begin with number 5, the innocent-looking bedroom item that releases dangerous electromagnetic waves every single minute you sleep. Number 5. Digital clocks with LED displays. That innocent-looking digital clock sitting on your nightstand might seem harmless, but research from the Swedish Radiation Safety Authority shows it's constantly bombarding you with two types of radiation that become increasingly harmful as we age. These clocks emit both electromagnetic fields from their internal circuitry and blue light radiation from their LED displays, creating what scientists call a double exposure effect that's particularly damaging to seniors' already compromised melatonin production. The electromagnetic field from a typical digital clock extends about four feet in all directions, meaning if it's on your nightstand, it's creating an invisible bubble of radiation around your head all night long. Your pineal gland, which produces melatonin and regulates your sleep-wake cycle, becomes increasingly sensitive to electromagnetic interference after age 65, and studies show that constant exposure to these fields can reduce melatonin production by up to 60%. The blue light component is equally concerning because research from Harvard Medical School found that seniors' eyes lose about 50% of their natural blue light filtering ability by age 70, meaning that bright LED display is penetrating deep into your retina and disrupting your circadian rhythm far more than it would in a younger person. To protect yourself, you need to either switch to an analog clock with no electrical components or move your digital clock at least six feet away from your bed, though the best solution is to use your phone as an alarm and keep it in another room entirely. The electromagnetic field strength drops by 75% at 6 feet distance, and if you absolutely must have a digital clock nearby, choose one with red LED numbers instead of blue or green, as red light has the longest wavelength and causes the least biological disruption. You should also consider getting a battery-powered clock instead of one that plugs into the wall, as battery-powered devices emit significantly less electromagnetic radiation than those connected to your home's electrical system. Many seniors don't realize that the transformer in their plug-in clock is constantly converting AC power to DC power, a process that creates a particularly intense electromagnetic field that can interfere with your heart's electrical rhythms if you have a pacemaker or any cardiac issues. But wait until you hear about what's probably sitting right next to that clock on your nightstand. Before we go on, if you're getting value from this video, go ahead and tap that like button and make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell icon so you never miss out on powerful health tips like these. Number 4. Cell Phone Charging Stations Your smartphone charging on your nightstand is essentially a miniature radiation tower operating at full power just inches from your brain, and a shocking study from the National Toxicology Program found clear evidence linking cell phone radiation to tumor formation in rats exposed to levels similar to what humans experience. When your phone is charging, it's not just receiving power, it's also constantly communicating with cell towers, Wi-Fi routers, and Bluetooth devices, creating what researchers call a radiation storm that peaks during the charging process. 
The specific concern for seniors is that your skull actually thins with age, losing about 30% of its density by age 75, which means the radiation penetrates deeper into your brain tissue than it would in a younger person with thicker cranial bones. Studies from the BioInitiative report show that keeping a charging phone within three feet of your head increases your exposure to radiofrequency radiation by up to 500% compared to having it across the room, and this radiation has been shown to disrupt the blood-brain barrier in older adults. Your phone emits radiation at frequencies between 700 mHz and 2.7 GHz when connected to cellular networks, and up to 5 GHz when using Wi-Fi, all while sitting right next to where you lay your head for 8 hours every night. The charging process itself generates additional electromagnetic fields because the charger transforms high-voltage alternating current from your wall outlet into low-voltage direct current for your phone, and cheap chargers can emit electromagnetic fields up to 10 times stronger than certified chargers. To minimize your exposure, you should charge your phone in another room entirely, or at the very least, put it in airplane mode while charging if you must keep it nearby for emergencies. If you're using your phone as an alarm clock, which millions of seniors do, you're making the problem worse because the phone never enters deep sleep mode when an alarm is set, meaning it maintains higher radiation output throughout the night. The solution is to get a separate alarm clock and charge your phone in your kitchen or living room using a long charging cable if necessary to keep it far from where you sleep. For those who worry about missing emergency calls, you can set up call forwarding to a landline or use the Do Not Disturb feature that only allows calls from specific contacts while keeping the phone at least six feet away. Research from the Environmental Working Group found that using airplane mode while charging reduces radiation emission by 99%, though the phone still emits some electromagnetic fields from the charging process itself. The next item might surprise you because it's something most people think is actually helping their health. Number three. Electric heating pads and blankets. Those cozy electric blankets and heating pads that soothe your aching joints are actually bathing your entire body in electromagnetic fields that are particularly dangerous for seniors with compromised immune systems or chronic health conditions. A study published in the American Journal of Epidemiology found that regular use of electric blankets was associated with a 15% increase in overall mortality risk in adults over 65, and the researchers believe this is due to prolonged exposure to extremely low-frequency electromagnetic fields. These devices create what scientists call contact current because they're pressed directly against your skin, allowing the electromagnetic fields to penetrate deep into your tissues and organs without any distance buffer to reduce the intensity. Your body's natural bioelectrical systems, which control everything from your heartbeat to nerve signals, operate at very low voltages, typically between 10 and 100 millivolts, but an electric blanket can introduce electrical fields thousands of times stronger directly into your body. The heating elements in these products are essentially long wires carrying alternating current back and forth 60 times per second, creating a massive electromagnetic field that completely envelops your body when you're wrapped in the blanket or lying on the pad. For seniors with pacemakers, the electromagnetic interference from electric blankets can potentially disrupt the device's programming, and several case studies have documented pacemaker malfunctions linked to electric blanket use. The heat itself compounds the problem because when your body temperature rises, your cells become more permeable, allowing toxins and radiation to penetrate more easily into your tissues, which is why researchers call this a thermal radiation double threat. Studies from the Karolinska Institute in Sweden found that people who used electric blankets for more than 10 years had significantly higher rates of certain cancers, particularly breast and prostate cancer, which researchers attribute to the constant bombardment of electromagnetic radiation during sleep. To stay warm safely, you should switch to non-electric alternatives like down comforters, wool blankets, or microwavable heating pads that don't require electricity while in use. If you absolutely must use an electric blanket, the safest approach is to warm your bed before getting in and then unplug it completely, not just turn it off, because even when switched off, these devices can still emit electromagnetic fields if they remain plugged in. For joint pain relief, consider using hot water bottles or rice-filled fabric bags that you heat in the microwave, as these provide therapeutic heat without any electromagnetic radiation exposure. The wiring in electric blankets deteriorates over time especially with washing and folding, which can create hot spots and irregular electromagnetic fields that are even more dangerous than when the blanket was new. Speaking of things deteriorating over time, the next item has been sitting in bedrooms for decades, silently emitting radiation that most people never even think about. Number 2. Old television sets and cable boxes. 
That television in your bedroom, especially if it's more than five years old, is continuously emitting electromagnetic radiation, even when it's turned off, and the cable box or streaming device connected to it makes the situation exponentially worse. Older flat-screen TVs use CCFL backlighting technology that emits both electromagnetic fields and small amounts of X-ray radiation, while newer LED models still produce significant electromagnetic fields from their power supplies and internal processors. The real danger that most people don't understand is that modern TVs never truly turn off anymore because they're constantly waiting for signals from remote controls, updating software in the background, and maintaining network connections for smart features. Research from the Building Biology Institute found that smart TVs emit radio frequency radiation 24 hours a day as they communicate with Wi-Fi networks, and this radiation level actually increases when the TV is in standby mode because it's constantly pulling for updates and maintaining connections. Cable boxes and streaming devices are even worse because they operate at full power continuously, using as much electricity when you're not watching as when you are, which means they're generating maximum electromagnetic fields around the clock. The transformers inside these devices convert high-voltage AC power to low-voltage DC power, creating particularly strong electromagnetic fields that can extend up to 8 feet from the device, easily reaching your bed if the TV is on a typical bedroom dresser. For seniors, the concern is compounded because studies show that electromagnetic radiation exposure during sleep prevents your brain from entering the deep sleep stages necessary for cellular repair and memory consolidation, processes that are already compromised in aging adults. The blue light emitted from TV screens is another serious issue because even the small standby lights on these devices can suppress melatonin production, and research shows that people over 65 who have TVs in their bedrooms get an average of 47 minutes less quality sleep per night. To protect yourself, you should either remove the TV from your bedroom entirely or plug it and all associated devices into a power strip that you can completely switch off at night, cutting power to everything at once. If you must have a TV in your bedroom, position it at least 10 feet from your bed and consider using a timer outlet that automatically cuts power during sleeping hours, eliminating both the electromagnetic fields and the temptation to watch late into the night. The electromagnetic fields from these devices can interfere with your body's production of melatonin and growth hormone, both of which are crucial for cellular repair and immune function in seniors. Many people don't realize that the remote control sensor on TVs and cable boxes uses infrared technology that creates a constant electromagnetic field as it waits for signals, adding another layer of radiation exposure. Now I've reached the most dangerous item, and statistically, there's a 94% chance it's within arm's reach of where you sleep right now. Number 1. Wireless Routers and Wi-Fi Extenders The wireless router in or near your bedroom is the single most dangerous source of radiation for seniors, emitting radio frequency radiation at 2.4 and 5 GHz frequencies that penetrate walls, furniture, and human tissue with alarming efficiency. A landmark study from the International Agency for Research on Cancer classified radio frequency radiation as a possible human carcinogen, and researchers found that Wi-Fi rotors emit pulses of radiation up to 10 times per second, even when no devices are actively using the internet. Your router is essentially a microwave transmitter operating at a similar frequency to your microwave oven, just at a lower power. But unlike your microwave which you use for minutes, your router bombards you with this radiation 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. The pulse nature of Wi-Fi radiation is particularly concerning because research from the BO Initiative Working Group shows that pulse radiation is more biologically active than continuous waves, meaning it causes more cellular damage even at lower power levels. For seniors, the danger is amplified because age-related changes in your body's water content and tissue density make you absorb radio frequency radiation more efficiently, with studies showing that people over 65 absorb up to 40% more radiation from the same exposure compared to younger adults. Your body's natural antioxidant production decreases with age, particularly glutathione and superoxide dismutase, which are your primary defenses against the oxidative stress caused by radiation exposure, leaving you vulnerable to cellular damage that younger bodies could repair. Wi-Fi extenders and mesh network systems make the problem exponentially worse because they create multiple radiation sources throughout your home, often placing high-powered transmitters in every room including bedrooms where you spend eight hours in close proximity. 
Research from the Environmental Health Trust found that having a Wi-Fi router within 15 feet of where you sleep increases your radiation exposure by up to 1,000 times compared to having it in another room, and this constant exposure has been linked to insomnia, headaches, heart palpitations, and cognitive decline in seniors. The router's radiation doesn't just affect you directly but also causes what scientists call the calcium efflux effect, where radiation causes calcium ions to leak from your cells, disrupting cellular communication and potentially triggering everything from muscle cramps to a regular heartbeat. To protect yourself, the absolute best solution is to use wired Ethernet connections instead of Wi-Fi, but if that's not practical, you should at minimum move your router as far from your bedroom as possible and use a timer to automatically shut it off during sleeping hours. Many routers have a feature called Wi-Fi scheduling that lets you program them to turn off the wireless signal at night while maintaining wire connections, giving you the best of both worlds. If you must have Wi-Fi active at night, consider reducing the transmission power in your router settings, as most routers are set to maximum power by default when medium or low power would adequately cover most homes. You can also switch to a router that uses Wi-Fi 6E technology, which allows you to use the 6 GHz band that has shorter range and doesn't penetrate walls as effectively, reducing whole house exposure while maintaining connectivity where needed. These five bedroom radiation sources are creating an invisible toxic environment that's particularly dangerous for anyone over 65, but the good news is that simple changes like moving devices away from your bed, using timers to cut power at night, and switching to wired or analog alternatives can reduce your radiation exposure by up to 90%. Your bedroom should be a sanctuary for healing and restoration, not a high radiation zone that disrupts your sleep and damages your cells night after night. If this information shocked you as much as it shocked me when I researched it, please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss our next video about hidden toxins in your home and remember, small changes today can mean huge health benefits tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching.